This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. All right, let's talk about the Royal Rumble match. It's going to go 59 minutes, 33 seconds. Miz and R-Truth are going to start. Um, I don't know why, but fans watching at home have always been fascinated with the increments between the different performers coming out. Sometimes they say 60 seconds. Sometimes they say 90 seconds. Other times they say two minutes. And no matter what they say, it's almost never what they say it is. Uh, you've ran a lot of these matches or been in the back as these matches are being, uh, sort of put together. Tell us about Titan time. Is it just somebody with a headset on saying, okay, this is starting to slow down. Send somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. You know, if they're not reacting like they should shave it 30 seconds, Yeah, that's it. And it's just, you know, it's, it's with the audience in mind. But if you totally had the audience in mind, and, and again, everything we do behind these mics, Conrad, let's face it, is Monday morning quarterbacking. Sure. Okay. With that in mind, why would you put Miz out there first with truth? Hadn't I already seen Miz? Yes. How hard would it be to figure out, let's put two guys out there that I like that I haven't seen all night? I mean, I'm not the, I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but God Almighty, even I can figure that out. Start with something fresh. That's it. Well, here's what's interesting. A minute and a half later, Bubba Ray Dudley comes in. Big surprise. Huge ECW chant. Of course, we're in Philly. He does the wise app with our truth playing the role of T-Von. The crowd's going nuts for Dudley. Then he tells our truth to get the table. The two hit the 3D on Miz. Uh, and Dudley throws Miz out about four minutes in. Uh, Luke Harper is going to come in and before he gets in the ring, Dudley throws our truth out at four sixteen. that leaves Dudley and Luke in the ring trading punches. And then Bray Wyatt comes out of the back. Uh, next up, we've got Curtis Axel. Who's going to start making his way to the ring, but Eric Rowan, who's officially not supposed to be in the match attacks. Axel throws Axel into the barricade and quote unquote injures his shoulder. So Eric Rowan is taking his spot. And then of all people. The boogeyman is going to come out. And at this point we're down to Bray Wyatt and the boogeyman. So of course, Wyatt kills boogeyman dead. There's him out of here at 11 minutes and four seconds. Let's just take a pause right there and talk about what we've seen so far. Uh, Bubba Ray Dudley coming back, getting the big pop in Philadelphia. I'm for it. How about you? Yep. hundred percent. I, I like the, uh, the way that we're trying to tell a story. But I don't know. I was still hopeful that they were going to do something with Curtis Axel. So Eric Rowan taking him out before he had a shot, I guess, continues the story. And the big thing they're trying to, to get over here is that Bray Wyatt is, is this monster and he's super scary. And it makes sense that he would go nose to nose with the boogeyman and come out on top. I, I'm for this so far with the exception of, you know, as you said, maybe let's start with somebody besides Miz. I'm liking where we are so far. I got to disagree with you on one thing. Uh, where did Eric Rowan, who had not qualified for the Rumble and was not in the Rumble legally, just insert himself and just take a guy out and just take his place? Where did he get that kind of power? Okay, I agree. Again, I'm back to being a fan and just a student of the business. People just don't insert themselves in matches. Again, remember what the prize is. Skip forward to the end of the rumble. What's the prize? You get a world title main shot, main event, WrestleMania. Main event, WrestleMania. So if that's the case, why isn't everybody in the back or ever been a wrestler that owns a pair of boots? Why aren't they bum rushing that ring and just inserting themselves in there to get the big prize? That's what Eric did. Fair enough. Again, you know, and people will say, oh, you're trying to make much, too much sense out of it. Well, not really. Sometimes just a little common sense goes a long way because it starts to get discombobulated when you just say, oh, it's just wrestling. It doesn't matter. It does matter. Our fans are a lot smarter than people think. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future clips that we upload. We hope we made you laugh, and we hope we can save you some money right now at SaveWithConrad.com.